Hey guys, what's going on? Keep it going here and welcome back to another video. Now this is an updated version to one of my videos that had a lot of views and some people were giving me a little bit of shit about it and they were asking like if I've ever played the game and just a bunch of random stuff. I don't know why because I said uh, I think it was Steel Ore in the video but that doesn't even exist in the game or in real life and it was just one simple mistake. There's no reason to hate on me guys. We're all human, but I'm just making an updated version that I find to be a lot better, and so yeah, I'm going to do this today. So, as you guys can see, I can't talk, I just legendaried my smithing, and what you're going to want to do, once you get one point, put it, you don't have to, well actually yeah, you have to, because no matter what, you're going to have to put one point into steel smithing, and so yeah, so you just want to do that once you get a point, and then you want to get into white run. And then I don't know where my girl is. I actually think she might have died when a vampire attacked or something. Yeah, so I'm just going to go inside of War Maidens and talk to the dude since I'm pretty sure the girl's gone, sadly. But yeah. Alright, so once we're in here, you want to go Welcome to talk to Off Birth, I think is how you say his yourself name. Or deal some damage. Alright. Alright, stop talking. Alright. So then you want to buy as many iron ingots as you can. And then, I think leather is the best way to go with this. So, just get a bunch of leather also. And then, after that, you're good. Because good you want to get up to level 30 smithing for this. So, yeah. That's what you want to do. Okay, yes. you're in the way. So, what you want to do, you want to come over here. After you bought your leather, come over to the tanning rack. And just create a bunch of leather strips, as many as you can. And also, guys, if you want to... You can also, I think, I don't know if the warrior stone gives you increased XP, but I know if you go sleep, you also get increased XP unless you're a vampire or a werewolf. I don't know about the vampire, but I know for sure you can't sleep as a were. No, when you sleep as a werewolf, you have like a restless sleep, so then you don't get the sleep bonus, and that's what I am, so I can't do that. Alright, so once you have your iron and your hide strips, you want to go just create a bunch of iron daggers. That's pretty much all it is, guys. And then, once you get to level 30, then you can go ahead and put a point into Dwarven Smithing. And so, I'll be right back once I am level 30 Smithing. Alright, guys. We are back now. And as you guys can see, I am Smithing 30. So now, what you want to do... Uh, Alright, you want to put a point into Dwarven Smithing. And that's really all you need now. And so, yeah. So, if we go over here... We can now make Dwarven, which what we're going to be making is Dwarven Bows. It takes Iron Ingots and two Dwarven Metal Ingots, but getting Dwarven Metal Ingots are pretty easy, as long as you're a little bit farther in the game. There's many ways to do it. I'm pretty sure you can buy it from her. Let me just check real quick. Take a look. So, so yeah. Um, no, there is no Dwarven Metal but that's fine. Um, so just trying to get a little bit farther in the game. There are other places that you can like walk into, and then there will be some. But this is one of the easiest ways I find. So what you want to do is, if you're farther into the game, you want to go to. I think it's what's that? That's Solitude. I haven't played this game in a while. Markarth. Yeah, you want to go to Markarth all the way over here, and yeah. So travel to Markarth. Alright guys, we are now in Markarth, so once we're up here, I don't know what that guy's doing, just kind of run into the wall. You want to run all the way up here to Understone Keep. I know we could have traveled there, but I wasn't 100% sure if that's where we need to go. So I didn't want to travel there, but it looks like it is, and okay, all these guards are on the way. So yep, going to Understone Keep. Now that you're into Understone Keep... If you are farther into the game and you've helped, I think it might be this guy. Or there's a guy in here. Let me go check. Let's see his name. I just want to make sure so you guys know. Right here. Good to see Callens. Calsamo, I think is his name. And so yeah. After you help him like defeat a giant spider and do some other things, he'll give you a key to the museum. But as you guys can see right over here, we already have a solid Dwemer, me Dwemer metal. Those will give you a lot. I don't think, yeah, you don't need to read that, so don't read that. And then, so right over here is a museum. So eventually you'll get the key to it so that you can just walk right into there. 
So let me get up here. So yeah. So we are now going into the museum, the Dwemer Museum, because at this place they were, I think, mining, and they came across a giant Dwemer underground city, and so they just kind of like took. No, I think this entire place was like Dwemer, if I'm correct. I like I said, I haven't played this game in so long, so I'm not like up to date on anything. But yeah, okay. So it looks like I already took most of, most of the stuff, and it hasn't came back yet. Just kind of checking around. There's some farmer stuff right there. Okay. Um, gauntlets and a helmet. Sword. That's like a shield. Axes. Okay. It's not what I want. Okay. Okay. Wow, this looks really bad. I already took all this stuff, but it hasn't respawned. I don't know why it hasn't respawned, actually. There's another sword. Alright, so let's just... Oh wait, I got the Dwarf Museum key. I didn't know that though, it just opened. Okay, so yeah. Oh, here's a stone of Baron's eye, I guess. But yeah, here's another one. You just want to crouch down to steal and make sure that your lines look like mine when you steal it. Here's another one right here. But there's usually a lot more, and you can pick up some other stuff. I don't remember what it is. I don't remember if it's like the cogs or the large Dwemer strut, but you can pick up something else that will give you more Dwemer. See, so yeah, guys, it looks like I did already take most of it. I don't, I think I took it not that long ago. I'm not 100% sure, but it should reset after like a set amount of time. So yeah. So yeah, I, I'm confused that it, why it hasn't reset. I thought I did it quite a while ago. But yeah, you just want to come here. And there is some other places where you can get all this Dwemer too. It's not just here. It's obviously in like big Dwemer places. What is up here? I think was that Dwemer? Oh yeah. So let's crouch down. Let's unlock this. I have very bad pick locking. Okay. Perhaps it wasn't it. Nope. Nope. Right here. Okay. <laughs> That's sad. Right here. Oh yeah, so there's more. Oh, I was caught. Okay. Let's see if I can persuade him. Ah, thanks, bro. Next time. Scared me. All right, let's steal that. And so yeah, there will be more. I'm sorry that it kind of looks bad. Like there isn't any in here. I just don't know why it hasn't respawned. But okay, that door just closed and opened back up. I don't know. But yeah, so once you get that, you want to go back to Whiterun, and I will meet you guys when... Or no, I won't meet you guys. I'll come back when I am there. The Alright guys, we are now back in Whiterun, and we have the large Dwemer metal. So you want to come over here into the smelter. And you can do this at any place, but I just find Whiterun to be the easiest. And Okay, so the large Dwemer struts will give you three ingots. Bent Dwemer Scrap Metal will give you three. Large Dwemer Plate Metal will give you three. Small Dwemer Plate Metal will give you three. Large Decorative Dwemer Strut will give you two. And the Solid Dwemer Metal will give you three. And I'm pretty sure I have another video on this, guys. Um, if you want to, go ahead and check out where I was going through and duplicating items, like showing you how to duplicate so yeah, go do that if you want to like make it a lot easier. It is using a glitch, but what's a little glitch for 100 smith smithing? It's, it's very nice to have it. So go ahead and do that. Go and watch that video. But yeah, so now we have the solid Dwemer metal. You want to come over here to the forge. Make sure you have some iron ingots. So if you need to, go buy it from the girl. But yeah, so then what you want to do... Come down here, go to the Dwarven Bow. It's one metal inglet, inglet, what was that? And two Dwarven metal ingots. So then, you just create them. That's pretty much it, guys. That That's what you do for the rest of the time. And you can just like keep repeating the process. So, let me talk to You're this girl. Who can get things done. I, don't, I, don't I don't like it when it does that. When it always like pulls up that instead of going to like what they're selling. Okay, so obviously they're not going to sell to me. I don't know why. They're 
freaking brats. But yeah, so that's pretty much what you do, guys. You can do the duplication glitch to make it easier if you really want to just kind of speed up the process, or you can go find the Dwemer Metal yourself. It's really all up to you. And so yeah, guys, I hope you guys liked the updated video. I know the last video was very bad. It, I got a lot of hate for it for making one mistake, like I said, but... Yeah, I really want to get this out so that you guys are a little bit more knowledge on other ways to do it. And I do think that this is the best way to upgrade it. Because, like, I actually don't really know. Um, you don't need Magicka, so you don't have to wait, like, constantly. The only waiting that you really have to do here is waiting for the War Maiden girl or guy to come back out or something like that. So, yeah, guys... I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please leave a like. Comment what you thought about it. Please no hate this time. <laughs> please. And if you're new to my channel, please subscribe for more content. And I will see you next time.